So now I'm going to show you how the Apex Connect and the LMNs Connect can be connected in conjunction with each other so that you can do real-time Apex location while you're shaping with your NITI instruments. We're going to turn both units on. On your Apex locator, you're going to take your lip hook, insert it into the round side, just like you normally would. However, instead of using your file clip like you would traditionally, you're going to come to your motor and there's a plug on the bottom here. Peel that plug back and then you're going to plug the attachment that would go to your file, uh, a file clip into the bottom of the motor. Immediately on the motor, you're going to say EAL, which means uh, Apex Location. <clears throat> and go to your Zenflex file. As I go to start shaping, if, it's, if I don't have the lip hook connected, as you can see on the screen here and by my rheostat, there is no apex location taking place. Once I attach the file clip to the mucosa under the rubber dam and I make that connection, now I'm doing real-time apex location while I'm shaping. So blue means I'm still a ways away, yellow means I'm getting close, red means I am there. I am out the apex. Okay, so you can see both the button here as well as the apex locator telling me that I'm out. Another nice safety feature is that when you do reach your working length, this file will automatically reverse so that you don't over instrument, which is key. We always want you to take an estimated working length prior to shaping with any rotary instrument. However, this will prevent you from going long. And that's the Apex Connect and Elements Connect working together.